Phoenix First Assembly was birthed from a tent meeting and was established as a church in 1924. The church grew and was one of the leading churches of its denomination in the late 60s. But the next 10 years was difficult for Phoenix First, going through six pastors. However, a remnant of faithful people remained and were determined to seek out a new pastor. Tommy Barnett answered the call of God and left what had become America's fastest growing church, West Side Assembly of God in Davenport, Iowa, to come to Phoenix, Arizona. Pastor Tommy came determined to transform this congregation into a great soul winning machine, just as he had done in Davenport. Only three weeks after arriving at Phoenix First Assembly on 3rd Street, Pastor Tommy rallied a choir and built a singing Christmas tree. The church grew quickly, growing from about 76 to over 800 in the first month, and remarkably, more than 2,000 in just a few short months. Buses were purchased, ministries were sprouting up, the unsaved were invited and found Christ. As the church grew, so did the need for a bigger building and more land. An opportunity to sell the 3rd Street building and an incentive from the city allowed the church to move to North High School for their services. Phoenix First quickly outgrew North High School and had to move to East High School while looking for a parcel of land to build a new building. 72 acres at the base of Shadow Mountain in North Phoenix became available. It seemed crazy to move the church that far north, but with the rapid growth that the Phoenix area was experiencing, it proved to be God-inspired since it placed the church in a key corridor of city growth and travel. In anticipation of the new building's grand opening, a massive tent was erected for a good old-fashioned tent meeting. Thousands came out to hear the message and to see the progress being made on one of America's largest church buildings. On January 27, 1985, the iconic new building for Phoenix First had its grand opening. With seating for over 6,500 and a design that resembled a Broadway theater more than a church building, the church continued to grow. It wasn't unusual for people to begin lining up two and three hours before an illustrated sermon or a special event, even in the more than 100 degree heat. Phoenix First put on spectacular annual Christmas shows featuring flying angels, live camels, and even an elephant. The Easter pageant showed the suffering of Christ on the cross and ended with the ascension into heaven. July 4th brought Celebrate America, a live outdoor show that included fireworks. Phoenix First had become known as the church with a heart and a destination for the city of Phoenix. Phoenix First continued steady growth, building classrooms, a gymnasium, and an administration building for the day-to-day -day operations of the church. Phoenix First was reaching out and touching lives in the community, but something new was on the horizon. In 1994, the Queen of Angels Hospital in Los Angeles, California, was purchased and converted into the LA Dream Center, an amazing inner city hub of church activity and ministry outreach that had never been seen before. Pastor Tommy's youngest son, Matthew, became the Dream Center's leader. And now the miracle of the Dream Center is being copied in urban areas all around the globe. During pastor school in 1996, Pastor Tommy convinced Jim Baker to come and hear his son Jay's testimony. In a touching moment, Pastor Tommy called Jim forward and restored him to his estranged son, showing the world how to restore a fallen soul. Jim Baker could now dream again, and he humbly volunteered at the LA Dream Center to get his life back on track. To help support the LA Dream Center in 1997, just after his 60th birthday, Pastor Tommy set off on an epic 422 mile run through the desert from Phoenix to Los Angeles. Losing several toenails, enduring blisters and excruciating joint pain, Pastor Tommy completed his run in only 21 days. That's the equivalent of running a marathon in every one of those days. 
Phoenix First continued to grow and the campus was bustling with new construction projects. In 2000, the Small World Village, a collection of classrooms for nursery and children, was built with an innovative and fun design. 2002 brought the Youth Pavilion, a state-of-the-art youth building with stadium seating and huge bay doors that opened to combine indoor and outdoor events. Phoenix Magazine proclaimed our Sunday Night After Dark service at Phoenix First was one of the hot spots to be at in Phoenix. The Children's Pavilion was completed in 2004, and it is second to none. Large glass garage doors can be rolled up to open the building on two sides, increasing its occupancy. In 2006, Pastor Tommy's eldest son, Luke, who was a pastor of a thriving church in Whittier, California, felt led by God to return to Phoenix First to join forces with his dad to create new and unforgettable experiences every weekend. With the Los Angeles Dream Center in California, we soon realized that Phoenix also needed a Dream Center. So in 2006, we purchased an Embassy Suites hotel and converted it for use as the Phoenix Dream Center. Then, in 2007, Pastor Tommy's dream of having a building dedicated to prayer, built on the side of the mountain, lit up for the world to see, came to pass. The Prayer Pavilion is an amazing place to connect with God. 2011 brought a challenge for Phoenix First. Pastor Tommy was diagnosed with a heart ailment that required surgery. While he was recovering, Pastor Luke kept Phoenix First going forward. In fact, the church began another spurt of growth after implementing his innovative ideas. The church board promoted Pastor Luke as the lead pastor for Phoenix First, and Pastor Tommy returned strong from his surgery and is now the senior pastor. And this change has allowed him the freedom to be able to travel and speak at conferences, affecting the world like never before. With Matthew Barnett leading the Dream Center, Luke Barnett leading Phoenix First, his daughter Christy assisting with the women's ministry, Pastor Tommy is teaching the world by his example how to reach all generations just like Phoenix First.